Hey, so I just got done watching a uh, Trolls World Tour. Um, I guess uh, I should give you a little background on Trolls. Uh, I literally just did a review that came out this week on uh, Nostalgia Critic, but to sum up real quick, uh, the first one is definitely not for me, but I felt like it was more centered around uh, younger kids, you know, like little, little kids. And for a movie for little, little kids, it was fine. Uh, I thought I had a lot of imagination, I had a lot of color to it, uh, I had a lot of, it introduces them to a lot of good songs. Uh, it's only the third act where I kind of didn't really get into it because it like it's trying to be about something it's trying to be dramatic and it's not very good at it uh you know it, it's very forced it's very odd but when it's just a dumb little movie for kids i, I thought i had enough imagination and weird worlds and uh color it to you know to be fine for for little little kids uh now we have the sequel which is kind of a big deal because this is the first movie that's uh mainly premiering in homes uh it's it, they say it's showing in some theaters but i mean what theaters are even open right now uh but but so that's one of the reasons it's a really really big deal some people say well maybe all a lot future movies will be shown at home you know who knows so uh so there's a lot of eyes watching this right now and uh i just gotta say if you like frozen 2 <laughs> It's like the exact same story. <laughs> like it may be told a little out of order, uh, but it's like the exact same story. Um, and I'm, I'm very on the fence about it because on the one hand, it's just kind of doing its normal stupid trolls thing where they make these, you know, really dumb jokes, but it's like, they're like Happy Meal jokes, but it's like, it's for the Happy Meal audience, you know? It's like, well, of course these are kind of the jokes they make. Uh, and... Like I always say, there's, uh, just because a movie's for little kids doesn't mean you can't really throw in a lot of stuff for adults or stuff that's, uh, uh, gonna help them, you know, mature and stuff. Um, uh, you know, uh, Miyazaki does a lot of stuff for little, little kids, you know, but it's also very much for adults. Like, look at Kiki's Delivery Service and stuff. So, you have this movie, it starts off mainly doing that, uh, but then it tries to be about something again. It tries to be really deep, and it tries to be, like, life-changing, and hey, if only we can see the world like this, like one of those movies, but what's so frustrating about it is that it's almost really good at it. And what I mean by almost is that it has this idea of it's doing what I feel like every kid's movie that wants to say something is doing right now. We're, we're all the same. We shouldn't judge. We should get rid of prejudice. We should. And I just feel like they're all doing this and not many are doing it well. Uh, like Zootopia did it well. Uh, but it's mainly, hey, all those people are bad. No, they're not. You're looking at it from this point of view and you have to show, you know, that. Uh, but this one is actually kind of clever because it's just the idea of a, <clears throat> you see different trolls from different worlds and it's different types of music. And uh, one wants to uh, take over all the music, uh, uh, the heavy metal one, and... The, the pop trolls who are like, you know, the main characters, they want to go and stop the heavy metal ones from taking over. And they find out, without giving away too much, that they actually kind of played a big part in this kind of happening. Or they did something very similar. Uh, and there's this whole idea of you have to collect these five strings. And the strings together create this one note. And the one note means everybody will be in this one... Uh, you know, this one type of music, and they talk about living in harmony. Ha literal harmony, and harmony is different voices to create one great sound. It's like, that's, that's really fucking clever. It's like, I'm listening to this like, man, there's, there's something here. It pisses me off that it's in Trolls, because <laughs> this is actually a really good idea, but then you have... Just these dumb jokes, uh, these dumb cliches, like, you know, it... Yeah, I'm talking about how it's very much like Frozen 2. Uh, you know, Justin Timberlake's uh, character is pretty much... In the last film, he confesses his love uh, for the Anna Kendrick troll. And it's like they totally forgot about it. He's like, ah, today I'm going to tell her that I love her. You, He literally said that at the end of the last movie. <laughs> so that makes no sense. So, you know, that's kind of the thing going on with him is that he's trying to confess his love. She's taking it the wrong way. Exactly like Kristoff and Anna in, uh, in Frozen 2. Uh, again, there's this thing, uh, there's this, uh, subplot about how the supposed good guys in their past, they did something bad that caused a whole lot of damage and it's them 
trying to atone for it, again, like Frozen 2. Uh, it's them going and figuring out about their past. Um, it, so there's, there's a lot of comparisons, and of course, it's all about how we're all, we're all different, but we're all alike, and we don't really have to suffer any consequences, <laughs> which pissed me off the most. It's a bigger problem in Frozen 2. Uh, I think because in this, because it, it is aimed a little more for little kids, and it's, again, it's butt jokes and stuff like that, you're not going to be, you know, quite as let down by it, but they also don't put as much emphasis on what has to be done, and then they totally retcon it at the end either, uh, like Frozen 2. Not, not particularly, like, like, I didn't get that, uh... But the problem is, if you're going to do these type of stories where you're going to really tackle an issue, and again, I think of Zootopia. Zootopia is like a really good example of doing it right, where it's like, okay, they're coming at this, and Zootopia like really went full force into this. But they also had really good writing and really smart characters, and, and they were very charming. It was very imaginative. And this one is imaginative. It's not really that charming, at least not for older kids or adults. And I feel like if you're going to tackle this issue, uh, the world you create has to be able to support it. I think to support these themes, you can't have cliches this obvious and, and characters this dumb the characters are very dumb in this uh uh the, the anna kendrick's character particularly is an awful queen <laughs> constantly making mistakes constantly doing everything wrong i think she does one correct thing at the end and even then that's kind of debatable uh so you kind of have all this stuff going on and all i'm thinking to myself is man if you were just a a, a dumb trolls movie, I would probably be like, whatever, the little kids will like it. And some of the cliches would get on my nerves, but I'd be like, eh, it's, it's, it's for little kids. But because it's trying to be something more, and it's almost good at it, it's even more frustrating when these very dumb little kid movie cliches that don't try very hard are getting in the way. Um, again, if you really want to see this done well and little kids can watch it and older kids and adults, you know, go see, go see Zootopia. Like, like that did so much better. Um, but it's, it's weird. The, uh... Like, the idea of getting this message across, I think, is a little better in uh, in Trolls 2. I actually think uh, Trolls World Tour, Troll 2 is a very different movie. Uh, but it is very, is better in this film. Uh, it's much more imaginative, and I kind of feel like, oh, there's kind of different things you can draw from that too. Where with Zootopia, well, they're animals, and some are predators, you know, and some aren't, and it's them getting a lot. You already know where that's going to lead. Where at this one, even when you kind of know where it's going to lead, they kind of play with it a little bit more. Like, like they add all these different uh, levels to it and get very imaginative. And uh, it, it's... Let me put it this way. In Zootopia, they... The, the way they handle in Zootopia, they don't have to look at you and say, here's the message at the end. Because they don't need to. Because they're like, we know what we're doing. You can watch this just as a movie. And you can learn some stuff. But you, a little kid doesn't have to look at this and say, Oh, that's like this, you know, necessarily. Like, like it just very naturally works its way, you know, into your mind. Uh, where with this one, they... Because it's trolls, they have to turn. They have to say, here's the lesson of the story at the very end. And I actually felt like parts of it were... In terms of how they set up getting the message across, they didn't need to do that. But then the rest of it, in terms of the characters, in terms of uh, like the songs they choose, you know, I mean, which are very obvious pop songs that you hear in everything. Uh, you're kind of rooting for the bad guys in this, honestly, because in the first Trolls movie, uh, the pop songs they chose, I, I was surprised I actually didn't mind too much. Because again, I'm thinking, well, it's, it's a little... It's a little kids movie. It's like, I want little kids to know what, uh, you know, Sound of Silence is. I want them to know what, uh, you know, Clint Eastwood is by the Gorillas. You know, it's kind of all these songs where I'm like, I don't mind them knowing this. And there's something fun knowing they're gonna maybe look up these songs later and gonna hear words like cancer or motherfucker and stuff like that. And it's just, I don't know. There's something almost kind of fun about that. Uh, where with this one, I mean, like, the songs they do... Uh, one more time, a uh, Gangnam style, I'll uh, tell you what I want, what I really, really want, like the most annoying 
pop songs. Uh, there's literally a scene where they want to win over like this country uh, part of town and they try singing their songs and it's just Every awful song, Who Let the Dogs Out is one of them. Hammer Time, like stuff like that. And it's not done in a way where it's like, ooh, there's like a clever satire here. No, it's just they're doing the songs because uh, little kids probably heard them at some point. Uh, so I'm very much watching the heavy metal trolls, <laughs> which are some of the only characters getting a laugh in this. And, uh, you know, they interrupt one more time with, uh, you know, uh, Hurricane. You know, rocking like a hurricane! It's just like, I instantly love these characters, and, and I'm rooting for them, because the, because the actual main characters are so annoying, and they sing the most annoying songs. So, you got, you got those elements going on while there's kind of this very clever message getting across in a very creative, clever way. So I... It's really tough. It's tough for me to say whether or not I, I recommend this for, like, little kids or not. It's it's really not a movie for adults. <laughs> it, it's just not. Uh, I feel like you can watch some of the visuals. Uh, I actually do kind of regret this isn't released on the big screen, because some of the shots, I'm like, that, that will look cool on the big screen. Um, but, I mean, they are imaginative. They are colorful. Uh but, it, again, it's very, very clearly written down to little kids, which is not a bad thing as long as you have some imagination to it, as long as you're introducing them to some good stuff. And both these movies do. Um, but you're really tackling some heavy stuff here that makes, I think, everybody watching, little kids, older kids, grown-ups and stuff, ask more questions about it and say, well, wait, if this happened, why didn't this happen? Oh, wait, that character did that. Why didn't they plan for this? Why did they do that? And it, when you get more and more serious, you start to see more of the mistakes they make and the usual cliches of like, you know, the boyfriend trying to say he loves the girlfriend. Just don't fly when you're tackling something this heavy. Uh, and you're almost doing it in a good way. <laughs> so, um, man, I'm, I'm on the fence. It's like, I, I saw this a couple hours ago, and I still don't know if I recommend it. Uh, I think little kids can probably watch it fine. Uh, yeah, it's, man, it's rough. I, because all I would think to myself is, hey, show them Zootopia. <laughs> you know, show, show them that. Um, but I guess at the end of the day, it's still, the message is still mainly trying to hit little kids, I think. Um, there's a part of me that doesn't want to give in to, you know, the filmmakers, I think, winking at the adults saying, see what we're doing? Aren't we clever? Aren't we avant-garde? And it's like, I want to say no, because you're putting in all these stupid jokes and these, you know, idiot cliches that we're that are just so tired. But when you do the message, it is kind of clever. And I, I don't want to give you that, you know, I don't want to give you that, but I kind of have to. So, uh, God, I, I guess I say if you have little kids, Christ right now especially, and you just want to show them something, uh, it, it's it's fine. I, I think you can probably show little kids okay. Um, if you're... I guess if you're an older kid or an adult, um, you might get a few things out of the message. Uh, out of the way the message is done, I should say. The message you've heard to death. Uh, but but the way it's done can be very clever. Uh, but don't be fooled. It's still a stupid little kid's movie. And as stupid little kid's movies go, it pissed me off because it's almost a smart little kid's movie. And I guess I'm angry that it didn't go that full, it didn't take that extra step and upped the characters, upped uh, the journey that they go on, upped the dialogue. Uh, and it's a shame because I feel like you really could have had something here. Even some of like the celebrity uh, guest stars they have in here. I, I I won't give away, but there's a cameo from um, someone playing this really old rocker, like Grandpa Rocker, who's not all there, and uh, you, you already know who it is. Like, like, the first person that comes into your head, and as soon as he shows up, I'm like, wouldn't it be cool if this guy voiced him? And he does, and I'm like, that's so clever, and only the adults would get that. No little kid would get that. Uh, but, so, so if it went more along those lines, and again, sort of the writing for the heavy metal trolls, uh, is a little funny. But if it went more along those lines, 
And again, just really stuck to uh, the imagination of how they got this message across. I think we could have had like a really solid, good, strong movie for little kids. Uh, you know, again, you can have great movies for little kids. Uh, you know, Trolls is, the first Trolls is not a great movie for little kids. It's a fine movie. It's like, sure, that this is aimed at you. It does it fine. There's some imaginative stuff. Here, this could have been great. Like, this could have been a really great film. I wish they could have taken this story and put it in something else. Like, not Trolls. Uh, but, but it is in Trolls. It's in Trolls, uh, World Tour. So, yeah, sorry, I guess it's kind of a confusing <laughs> review. Um, if you're an adult... You're probably not going to get into it. If you saw the trailer, you have no interest whatsoever. It's not going to suck you in. You might you might get a laugh here or there. I mean, I will say I probably did laugh more at this than the original Trolls. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's it, it's probably not going to grab you too much. You, you might find uh, some of the imagery nice, a laugh here or there. And, again, you might... You might like how they do the message, or you might just be sick to death of it. Again, like every kid's film tries to do this message now. Uh, and it's not a bad message, it's just done all the time, and usually poorly. Uh, in this one, the message is, is actually done pretty well. Uh, everything else is just run-of-the-mill, we-don't-care-it's-for-little-kids <laughs> kind of thing. Uh, so, so that's kind of a shame. But if you do have little kids, they want to see this... I think it's fine. I, I think it's another one of those movies where, honestly, in the grand scheme of things, it, it's fine to show little kids. I think that's mainly who it's made for. Uh, I just see a huge missed opportunity because, uh, I don't know, I would love to see some of these writers, at, at least story developers, I should say, go on to something else and not have to be bound to these stupid cliches and these stupid things where they think, well, they're little kids, so we can't add too much more. It's like, yes, you can. And I think Disney has shown that over and over, and even DreamWorks has shown that over and over, taking, you know, a lot of movies are meant for kids, but they make them really smart. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's my review. If you got little kids, fine, show it to them. Uh, if you saw the trailer and you have no interest, you're not going to get that sucked in. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, like I said, so sorry it's a little all over the place, but it usually is anyway. So uh, that's my thought. Uh, what'd you guys think? Uh, again, I mean, everybody's, it's not like you can gauge an audience reaction with this. So uh, did you like that they were upping the message and they were going an extra step? Or do you think it's trolls? They should keep it, you know, very simple, very light, you know, like what the first one was. Uh, and they should go from there. Um, I'm actually, I'm, I'm always really curious what you guys think, but with this one especially, because there was no audience I could watch it with, I really couldn't gauge what people thought. So let me know what you think. If you see this movie, uh, let me know if, uh, you like making it more serious, or if you think it should stay light, or even if you like the first one, or didn't like the first one in comparison to this, uh, let me know your thoughts on that. Uh, that's about it, and I will see you next time. Take care.